Boy, I took a nice little stroll outside this morning in downtown Oklahoma City. It was warm, but not too bad. Yeah, it is the shade, early mornings. We've had some nice, nice lows in the 60s. The afternoon highs have been a little yeah. warmer <laughs> and a little sticky, but yesterday afternoon, with the clouds around, the showers and thunderstorms, it was quite nice late afternoon. And we could do that once again today with some showers and thunderstorms developing. Lots of sunshine here this morning, bubbling up. Some showers and thunderstorms here this afternoon. Look at the next gen live. We can already start to see. Again, we don't have a lid in the atmosphere. So once we heat the ground, we get unstable, the air starts to rise and the moisture. We're already starting to see some showers and thunderstorms develop here on Next Gen Live. And again, out towards the Hinton area, uh, Cherokee Trading Post and up towards Gary. Again, along I-40, hit miss. Not seeing the jet stream energy, so these are not organized. So they go up, they rain themselves out, and then they spread out with the rain-cooled air. And additional showers and thunderstorms will develop along those outflow boundaries. The cool air, as it runs in, the air rises. Once again, you get more showers and thunderstorms. And the thunderstorm that briefly developed is now in Fairview has gone away. And that'll be the case here this afternoon. You can start to see the towering cumulus clouds out towards El Reno in the Hinton area. Southeast wind, barely, barely a breeze. That has been the theme the last couple of weeks. It, the wind has been non-existent, 82 degrees, and it'll be that way here today. The dew point, not too bad, especially for this time of the year, only in the lower 60s. So a light and variable wind, a light southeast wind out towards the west. Temperatures upper 70s to low to mid 80s already, 85 there in Chickasha. And like I mentioned, not much wind to speak of, less than 10 miles an hour. And that's why with all the humidity, the smog, the smoke, the pollution, it's not really being moved around by nature here, and that's why both uh, metroplexes have a very unhealthy environment. So limit your time, especially if you have to deal with uh, you deal with allergies or just uh, lung issues. Today and tomorrow, the air quality will be pretty poor with those temperatures around 86 to 88 degrees here across the area. Warm and humid as those uh, scattered thunderstorms start to develop. As uh, again, kind of tranquil, kind of in between storm systems, and that's how it's been the last week. Big spin of low pressure here across. Uh, northeast into Canada and another one here uh, moving into the desert southwest. But we're starting to see energy here to the southwest and that'll start to help, <coughs> excuse me, move things along here as we head towards the weekend and the next week is a uh, future next gen, <coughs> excuse me, got a tickle in my throat, shows the uh, scattered showers and thunderstorms uh, again, developing during the afternoon, and that'll be hit and miss across the area. Again, splash and dash, dangerous lighting, a little bit of gusty winds, and some very heavy localized rain will be hit and a miss. And then daytime heating is lost, and they disappear as we get into tomorrow, uh, towards tomorrow, and we'll do it all over again uh, tomorrow afternoon. So we'll go about a 20 to 40 percent chance of a hit, miss, shower, and thunderstorm across the area. Excuse me, I gotta, I gotta drink some water. I got a chickle in my throat and I can't get rid of it. Pulse type, uh, <coughs> the air quality is pretty bad. The, the allergies are also bad as well. Uh, again, small hail, gusty winds and some localized uh, flooding. Temperatures here tonight into the 60s. Tomorrow and tonight, I should say tonight, Southwest Oklahoma and then tomorrow, much like today. Again, it's not really changing the environment and then on Friday afternoon, evening, especially late in the day, a complex of showers and thunderstorms will develop. Severe weather threat does look a little higher <coughs> as we head towards Friday evening and overnight. Complex of showers and thunderstorms comes in the northwest, and then Friday's high temperatures into the upper 80s. Again, the best chance of rain, I think, on Friday will be late in the day. And depending on what those storms do, Friday night will depend on how much severe weather we have on Saturday. Look at your night at forecast. Upper 80s, hot, steamy. I'm going to go cough whatever's in my throat away, and Lisa will have the rest of your news here after the break.